There has been an awakening. Have you felt it? And it's not our Star Wars The Force Awakens review. I'm talking about an awakening. People are starting to wake up. This whole fair use nonsense. It's getting ridiculous. I don't need to go over everything that's happened with, like, Everyone. Nostalgia critic. Um, I hate everything. Everyone. I don't need to go over any of this. Because you already know what's going on. All of you are, like, well acquainted with it. With, with, with what's going on. You know what's going on. So I'm not going to bother with it anymore. But... <sighs> I'm joining this movement. I want to tell you guys a story. Uh, when I uh, was first starting out with um, film film critique back in 2012, um, the first review, Dog Who Saved Christmas, came out of the gate uh, with pretty much no problems, actually. I was rather surprised by that. Then we had Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. Uh, and we got a claim. Uh, it was by... No, I've actually saved the email from this, so bear with me. It uh, should be under uh, Disputes, which is a folder that is growing more and more and more. Information about video of Santa Claus Cockers the Martians. E1 reviewed the dispute a day later and and everything was fine. They, uh, they dropped the claim. Don't even know who E1 is. Then came... The review of The Dog Who Saved Christmas Vacation. Stars Media decides that they're gonna come in, they're gonna um, copyright strike the video with no means of... with, 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 um, with, with a strike on our channel, and this was the first time that it ever happened. Um... So yeah, was pretty scared back there. Uh, had no idea how to fight this, actually. Didn't even know if I could. Um, what ended up happening was I was in email contact with the company and they were bullshitting, saying that we could only upload about five minutes total worth of footage which is complete and utter bullshit. Uh, eventually we reached an agreement that um, that we um, if we took down the video uh, they'd resend the strike. Two years go by after this happens. We post a re-review of The Dog Who Saved Christmas Vacation. Sure enough, Stars Media comes in guns blazing. Not with a copyright strike this time. Um, this time with a global takedown. This, this is, uh, your video isn't, um, isn't being hit by a strike. It's just blocked in every country on the planet. This is two years after their copyright strike. So, what we do is we go in guns blazing because we know how to fight now. Hunter reviews the dog who saved Christmas vacation is now been monetized and is about our fifth uh, highest revenue earning video. Fifth. I'll have the exact, uh, thing in front of me in a second as to, uh, what exactly it is. 
Wait, that's... Okay, it's like 10th, but it's it's been a couple years. The highest right now is actually Titanic 2. Funny thing about ti the Titanic 2 review. Um, Asylum dropped their claim almost immediately. Uh, once we disputed it, immediate response. I'm talking like 20 minutes later. That's really good for customer support wise. We get a response saying that their claim has been dropped. The dog who saved Christmas got a copyright strike in 2013. We fought it and won. We have fought this again and again and again. We have come out on top 99% of the time with this. And companies still think that it's okay. Just just this evening, I fought a claim on Hunter Reviews Friendship is Magic for the... I think it was Princess Spike? Yes, it's Princess Spike. Um, which Hasbro has claimed. Hasbro has claimed multiple videos of ours. Sometimes multiple times. Hunter Reviews Star Wars The Force Awakens, upon upload, had three, three copyright claims on it. It now currently has one. Dispute in progress, claimant response by February 19th. So, tomorrow. The other two actually sat in front of their computer and said, oh, we're breaking the law. This happens over and over and over again. And what companies don't seem to realize is that fair use is a legitimate defense. YouTube does... It's been said a million times. I see it everywhere. Everyone's putting up the same argument. Guilty until proven innocent. That's what's going on. That is that is what is going on. Accor according to these big corporations, fair use doesn't exist. Well, something's got to give. Something has got to be done. I'm here for Headhunter Productions. Where's the fair use? <laughs>